Hey guys, welcome. Today's topic is the pros and cons of figure skating. So, um, if you're looking to get into figure skating or you are a figure skater, this is just kind of like the basics of like what you're going to get out of it, what the possibilities are, and kind of like, you know, the good and bad of what you're getting into. Um, so, there are a lot of benefits to figure skating, but there's also some negatives. Uh, for instance, like body image is a big thing within the sport, so there's high expectations to have like a perfect body, the perfect shape, good muscles, and stuff like that. So eating disorders are like very common in figure skating, and a lot of skaters tend to struggle with body dysmorphia and stuff like that. So in a sense, it is a very toxic kind of community within the sport, but the sport itself, I think, offers a lot of good things for your body. So I don't know if that makes sense, but basically the community sucks. Um, not completely, but like it sucks with managing expectations for each person's body because a fit and healthy body is going to look different on everyone. Um, so yeah. And just because you weigh more, you might have more muscles than someone who's skinny and can get air in the jump. So because they're skinny, they have less weight to lift. But because you have muscles, you can also get the same height of a jump. It just takes up more mass. So I think not one size fits all. And so you have to realize that going into the sport. And then um, the truth is you need functionality in your body. Um, but the view is kind of irrelevant. Like, what you look like shouldn't matter as much as I think it does at the moment. Um, and I think that's something that everyone's currently working on and people have recognized that recently. So I think it is getting better and eventually, hopefully, it won't be there. I mean, it'll always kind of be there because people tend to judge other people. That's how human nature is, but it won't be as obvious. Um, so, one con of skating is that you have to monitor yourself to stay positive. Um, because you're being compared to other people all the time, um, and I think it's not just like a negative comparison, people tend to compare each other in positive ways as well. But it can get into your head and you can start automatically comparing yourself to others instead of the good and the bad. So it has, there's two sides to the coin. Um, most skaters learn how to be resilient and they learn discipline through skating because even if they don't want to go skating, they go skating and they go to their lessons and figure it out. Um, so it does offer a lot of like mental benefits and it does teach you how to stay positive because you kind of have to to survive in the sport and it's a really really tough sport uh you fall all the time i mean those of you that have seen these Han use like bruises and stuff like it's wicked um yeah it's a dangerous sport <laughs> but it does offer like a lot of positives so through skating, I know it's definitely taught me how to focus on progress instead of perfection. Um, I am a little bit of a perfectionist, not completely, but it does bug me. So I think skating has helped me focus on finding that progress, being happy with, you know, I get one more revolution in that spin. Even though it's not perfect, I got there and I'm still improving instead of expecting perfection right away. Um, So that is definitely a positive, especially for me. <laughs> um, and I think through skating, I've also learned like how to be more social and put myself out there more because you kind of you're in the spotlight once you're on the ice. Um, and there's a lot of attention that gets drawn to you, so it helps you learn how to manage that attention and turn it into something positive. So if you're afraid of public speaking or performance, I would say go do a figure skating show <laughs> like it'll definitely like you'll have to learn how to figure it out just go for it and what works works and what doesn't doesn't uh
it's it's been pretty interesting. I think my first two shows went pretty terrible. Um, my third one went pretty well, but the first two I got so nervous and I was so scared of people in the stands and everything. But uh, I eventually got to that third one and did pretty well. So I think that it really, really does help with putting yourself out there and becoming less afraid of uh, how others view you and how you're perceptive, per perceived, <laughs> English. Um, and what I was talking about earlier with skating being a dangerous sport, it definitely, the cons of that is that there are a lot of common injuries, like eventually people, figure skaters who are in their 30s, a lot of them get knee replacements. And a lot of skaters in general get sprained wrists all the time just from falling on things and learning new things, learning new jumps. Um, I was learning a new jump this week and let me, I mean, you get bruised up a little bit. Um, my wrist is pretty sore, but I haven't sprained it, so that's good. Um, you just learn how to roll with punches, but it does, there are a lot of common injuries. Um, People end up breaking their elbows sometimes or their wrists. Obviously those kind of things heal but it does take time so it takes time away from the sport and other things. Um, but I think it's pretty worth it. So if you're going skating I would definitely look into the pros and cons. I listed a lot of cons but there are like numerous pros so it'll definitely help with mental health um working out in general helps produce like serotonin and other chemicals that'll help with like depression and anxiety but i think figure skating in specific definitely helps people calm down because when you're on the ice you have to focus on everything going on around you on the ice you don't have the chance to think about you know what's my homework today what are my bills do when are da 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 you have to focus on the moment which helps you take a step back and just come back into reality for a little bit and realize hey I'm okay like I'm okay right now it's it's going fine um, and then it also causes you to like really think about like what's important um, so what I mean by that is like when you're figure skating you don't get the chance to think of like history or you don't get the chance to think of that book you were reading I mean it still lingers in the back of your head especially if it's a really good book um, but it's not at the forefront of your mind so you really get a chance to be yourself and be just be in the moment and be there um, yeah so skating is a full body workout you have to use like all your muscles so if you're looking for something to help make you more healthy and uh, more fit as a human being i would definitely start figure skating you have to use so many leg muscles just to jump and spin and do anything but in addition to that like the spin you have to have a tight core to help pull yourself in uh, and control the spin so there's just a lot of aspects that come into it and it ends up making you use like literally almost every muscle in your body. You have to use your arms to jump and squeeze tight. You have to use them to do like certain maneuvers and stuff like that. Um, doing spirals, you have to have a strong core to lift your uh, chest and body up while your legs up in the air. Um, so it does take a lot of effort and a lot of strength and it'll definitely help improve like your overall strength and coordination agility stuff like that um and obviously balance um so it definitely helps um with all that but other than building muscle it also helps keep you thin because it is a good cardio workout along with um building your muscle you're definitely going to lose some weight. So when I started skating, um, I wasn't like big, big. I was like a normal kid, but I definitely had like, I eat junk food three days a week all the time, like kind of like air, you know? And then, um, 
I lost a lot of that extra weight, unneeded weight, that was just kind of sitting there really fast. I mean, even if you're just skating laps around the ice rink, I think you're going to lose, like, all that unnecessary area. Um, it definitely slims you down, um, especially if you're eating right on top of that, which is another thing about figure skating is that if you're a figure skater and you're getting more serious about it, you have to eat healthy. Uh, you need fuel. Um, but you don't have to eat, like, healthy, healthy. Like, you don't have to uh, restrict yourself or just eat, like, salad. You actually need to eat more protein and carbs and stuff like that to fuel yourself. So I think that's another reason why I personally really love figure skating because, I mean, you stay pretty fit and healthy throughout the whole thing, but you don't, uh, you can practically eat almost whatever you want because you're going to burn those calories and that extra sugar and stuff off while skating, so you don't have to, like, watch what you eat. I mean, I didn't before I figure skated really watch what I ate, but I definitely don't now. Um, I mean, I do in a sense. Like, I don't eat plain, just junk food all the time. I eat, like, uh, more healthy food, but I don't eat small portions. I don't have to starve myself or anything like that. I can eat steak and mashed potatoes and asparagus and all sorts of stuff. Hamburgers. Um, I love hamburgers. Oh my goodness. My dad makes the best. Anyways, side rant. Um, yeah. So I think that's a great pro. I love food and I can eat a lot of food now. So <laughs> that's awesome. Um, yeah, so those are kind of like some basic pros and cons of skating. If you really want to learn more about it, I think you should just try it out for yourself because other than those, I think it kind of varies person to person. I mean, each person is different. They have a different mentality. They're all in a different stage of life, so they're going to think differently and experience things differently. So if you want to experience it for yourself, then go try it. I would encourage you to go to like a public session and see. Um, if you already are a figure skater, I think there's definitely more pros and cons that you could probably add in here that you're probably like, hey, what about this? But uh, I'm going to leave the rest out because it does kind of vary from where you're from or stuff like that. Uh, if you have any additional pros and cons, though, you could comment it and, you know, I'll answer and we'll talk about it. Um, that's pretty much it for today, um, yeah, if you want to hear more about figure skating, you can follow my Pinterest board, my Pinterest and its boards, or you can, um, follow my Instagram, obviously those are going to be linked in the description, so go check those out, um, I also have a Facebook page, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't use that as much as I probably should. I just, ugh, I don't, I don't, I should probably use it more. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you want to hear more advice and blog posts and stuff on mentality and off-ice and figure skating, you should check out my website, rainyvonanen.com. It is also linked in the description. Um, or if you're on Anchor or on YouTube or anything, it is going to be on my profile page. So definitely go check that out. Uh, I think I have like 16 or 17 blog posts out now, and I think they're pretty interesting. Um, I should be coming out with a few more soon, so look forward to that. Other than that, thank you guys for listening. I hope you all are having a good day or night, wherever you are, and make sure to check in later for more episodes, and if you haven't listened to all the other ones, definitely go do that. <laughs> Bye, thank you.